50th year, big year for the exhibition, um, 50th birthday. It's quite remarkable that anything would survive for 50 years, not least a, a youth science exhibition. And great to say that it's stronger than ever and this will be our biggest and probably our best year ever. BT has been um, organising this for 14 years, so we're pretty excited about um, what we have on um, this week. These early days in January are always brightened up by the opportunity to walk into the RDS and experience the energy, the invigorating curiosity and the practical achievements of our young people, harbingers of possibility and promise. I think as well the display of innovation and wonder and questioning it reminds us year after year of the importance of supporting our young people. We're from St. Charles College in Castlebar, County Mayo, and our project is Gumshield Communication Device for Sports Managers and Players. Our project is basically about allowing sports managers to communicate with the players while they're on their pitch wirelessly. We're hoping to use this uh, by using the gum shield as a medium and we're going to use bone conduction to transfer the sound from the gum shield up to the ears. It's the 50th anniversary this year. Um, I've been to a few of them in recent years. Um, and it's just really impressive, I think, to see um, how bright and educated some of our young people are. Um, at the last stand uh, I was at, um, uh, the, uh, the, the student had a, a patent pending on his project, which is extraordinary and kind of makes you feel a bit inadequate sometimes. It's great to see these young people, you know, how educated they are and the ideas and the thoughts that they put into this. And I mean, these are going to be the men of the future. These are going to be people that will create employment in this country. And the ideas that they have, I mean, you know, I was just looking at the paper today, 47 years ago, a guy, you know, won this Young Scientist of the Year award. He comes along, he sold two or three companies, and that's what it's about. And the competition, or the exhibition, is so well established now uh, that, you know, it undoubtedly stimulates interest in science, in technology, uh, in mathematics, and I think that's very good for Ireland. I think tremendous tribute is due to uh, their teachers in particular, and of course to BT for continuing to sponsor the event uh, every year. I come here every year for a long time now because I think it's one of the most optimistic events that one can come to at the beginning of any new year such as the talent, the enthusiasm of our young people and young students so committed to science and so committed to technology and coming forward with uh, first-rate projects that can have application to everyday life and that I think can be the beginning for burgeoning science careers into the future. The standard is incredibly high. Um, our winners here, there's been 25 European young scientists and our winners here have gone on to secure first prize there on 14 occasions. Um, our winners and participants have gone on to be very successful both academically um, and in the business world. So, you know, I think, I think when, you, when you get a slot here to be one of the 550 exhibitors, it comes with an obligation to do a great job and they never let us down and I'm sure they're going to do a, a phenomenal job again this year.